Morning, sunshine. Hey, man. You okay? You look half dead. I wish I'd never gotten fired from Pellis. The nightmares are killing me. Sleep isn't even restful anymore. You said the nightmares are about being unemployed and homeless, right? That was suck in the real world. That's not too bad as far as nightmares go. You don't know what it's like. In the real world, every night isn't the coldest night you've ever experienced. In the real world, the cockroaches and vermin don't actively seek you out, taking every chance they can to try and eat your starving bony carcass alive. In the real world, they're places to go for help. Opportunities to get another job. I'm sorry, man. This is really getting to you. It's fine. I'll be fine. What's the assignment for today? You're not going to like this. You're testing with SCP-008 again today. SCP-008? Why again? What more could they possibly learn from another exposure? Look, man, I don't have a master plan. I just work here. Little man on a totem pole. All I know, this is happening, whether you like it or not. To hell with this. I'll tell him to screw off. I'm not drinking that green swill ever again. You don't even remember what happened after you drank it. They wiped your memory after that test, remember? Maybe it wasn't as bad as you thought it was. I remember drinking something, and then something horrible happened. And that's all I need to know. No, you don't remember that. I wiped your memory. Or so they think. You can't act like you have any memories of that test at all. But I... They wouldn't know if I... I could just... If you want your shot to get out of here, this is the price it takes. I need more time to prepare things you asked me to. I'll come through for you, I promise. But you gotta roll with the punches for a little while longer. If they find out I didn't wipe your memory, I'm done for. And you better believe they'll wipe your head clean and keep a close eye on you to boot. You're right. Of course you're right. Okay. Let's go. How about tell me what's even in here first? It's none of your concern, D9085. Ingest the contents of the vial now. Come on, a briefing standard, isn't it? This thing could kill me for all I know. Don't tell us about standards. You'll be briefed when we want you to be briefed. You will also be terminated promptly in just a minute if you fail to comply with our orders. That vial is your only chance for survival at this crossroads, and I suggest you take the gamble. Well, when you put it like that, C'est la vie. So now what, Doc? D9085. You have just been infected with a sample of SCP-008. Isolated at our sister G2 Foundation site. You have been enrolled in a limited testing protocol, examining the effects of this complex prion on host anatomical and physiological functions. 
You will be monitored for the next several hours, allowing the virus to nearly reach its peak state of activity in your host body, at which time we will administer a potential antidote. Please stand by for observation. No. No. No, wait, wait, wait! Stand by my ass! Give me some answers here! Infected with what exactly? What does this virus do? Hey! Hello? Okay, Omar, here we go. Whatever this is, you survived last time, you'll do it again. Doctor's Note, Experimentation Log, SCP-008. SCP-008 once again proves its infection rate of 100%, taking hold of D-9085 once again within the three-hour window of initial exposure. D-9085 began showing feverish symptoms within the first hour, sweating profusely and complaining of the temperature in a containment chamber similar to the previous test. Hey, it's hot as hell in here. Can I get a fan or something? Or an ice bath? Request denied. As fever rose and D9085's discomfort increased, he continued scratching patches along his arms and face, precipitating the emergence of patches of rapid cellular degeneration and necrosis, just as in the previous test. However, at the seven hour mark, instead of progressing to symptoms of dementia, his skin lesions improved and subsequently, his fever seemed to break. By the 9 hour mark, D9085 showed no more symptoms, seemingly returning to his state of health prior to the experiment. What the hell's going on? That wasn't bad at all. D9085, how are you feeling? Um, much better, Doc. Excellent news. You will be taken to an on-site phlebotomist immediately for blood sampling, and then return to your cell to await your next assignment. Doc, what exactly just happened? I was really sick there for a few hours, was I not? Self-limiting disease, D9085. Very short term. We're just testing the effects in individuals of varying BMI, ethnicity, etc. To test the time period of the course of infection. That will be all for today, D9085. My work begins now.